Okay, so it's time to learn a little bit about multi-class models. Uh, these aren't too terribly different, but there are a couple of cool exceptions that I want to show you. So let's go back to um, previously we we're using, a, uh, we ended off on two-class neural network. I'm going to get rid of that one. And oops, I close this out. Initialize model classification. So our first few multi-classes are simply versions of uh, the two class that can handle multiple outcome variables. What I want to do is let's uh, predict education. So I'm going to go to train model and rather than purchase bike, we're going to predict education right here. Okay, because education has multiple values. It's got partial high school, high school, partial college, college and graduate. And um, we could use any one of these multi-classes to predict it. Let's start with a logistic regression as a baseline. I'm not going to go through the rest of these because I've already sort of explained it. No, it's not sort of. I have explained them in the two class versions of each of them and in the regression versions. So for now, I just want to collect uh, a, a baseline accuracy and precision score for, oops, come on. I got to move this up. There we go. For predicting education. So let's let this run. I'll pause it. All right, here we go. Let's uh, right click on evaluate model, results, visualize. Okay, let's grab uh, overall accuracy. I'm going to put that right here. Um, multi, well, here I've got a title. We know these are all multi class, so let's put logistic regression. There's our accuracy and I'm going to use our macro average accuracy. Okay, and I better just put here just so we know we're predicting education. Okay, so you could use multi-class by the way to predict bike buyers, but there's only two values yes or no, so it won't give you anything different than if you use a two class. So that's why I've got to switch to education to predict something that actually has multiple classes. Okay, so let's take out multi-class regression now. And you can try all these others. I just want to show you this one. It's kind of new. We haven't used this one before. So uh, one versus all multi-class, it's an ensemble method that requires a two-class version. So let's use, uh, first of all, let's see what happens if we use logistic regression as our two-class. So what it does is it says, okay, let's do, even though education has five possible values, Let's do, let's see, five factorial. Uh, no, it's not factorial. It's five, nine, 12, 14, 15 comparisons of each kit class against each other. So it's doing 15 two class models, putting them all up together into one multi class, and then combining the results. So that's why it requires an input, a two class input to. It wants some algorithm to use to go through and com compare every possible combination of the multiple classes. So let's run the model. I'll pause. Okay, that's finished. Let me move this back over, give us some room, and pull this up a bit. Okay, let's take a look at the evaluation results and see what we get here. So overall accuracy, this should be very close not quite as accurate using uh the logistic regression using the one versus all multi-class let's grab um but oh you know what's interesting is average accuracy i think is actually a lot higher um you know what i want to do is let's let's compare those because that's interesting i'm gonna move these down here and move this one down let's do um overall average and precision we don't get um oh, we get that with uh, with this one i think we only get the overall there we go overall accuracy yeah let's pull these results back up here let me grab um copy that and then the macro averaged precision and then this one goes right there Okay, perfect. Uh, let me grab, I'm going to run this quick. Let me grab the overall and average from the uh, the uh, multi-class regression real quick. I'll pause it. 
Actually, I better not pause it because you might want to see what I'm doing here. Grab this, pull this one back in, multi-class logistic regression. Drop that in there one more time. Run. Okay, let me grab that now. All right, actually it was higher than I thought. Never mind. So the uh, one, the all um, using logistic was a little bit worse. Now let's do a one V all using my guess is decision trees will be one of our best. With this data, I know the neural network isn't particularly useful. So let's use um, the decision forest difference between these, by the way, I like the decision forest more. The jungle allows some of the tree branches to merge back together later on down the tree. Um, it has some trade-offs, but uh, let's use the decision forest and go ahead and run this. Whoops, unselected. Oh, shoot, maybe I shouldn't be an idiot and use a multi-class. I just barely said we have to use a two-class technique. So let's use two class decision forest, pull that one in. There we go. All right, let's see what we get here. Beautiful. Much better. One V all uh, decision forest. Okay, uh, averaged. Right there. Let's do macro average precision. So the real question now is, is this any better than just using the multi-class decision forest? So now let's take a look at that one. Delete, delete, multi-class decision forest. Whoops, there we go. And run. All right, let's take a look here. Mm, gonna be close, but not as good. Interesting. Okay, this is the multi, or just obviously multi-class. Okay, averaged. Mm, not as good. Oh, it's still not as good. Yeah, and then precision. There we go. So the one v all, if I can spell it right technique using a two-class decision forest was better than the multi-class decision forest. However, using the one V all logistic regression using a two-class logistic regression wasn't as good as the multi-class decision uh, logistic regression. So a pretty cool ensemble method. Um, make sure to include it whenever you have uh, uh, categorical dependent variables with more than two values.